Today we're going to look at what I did to help compensate for voltage drop on the XMT welder when you're using a remote suitcase feeder. Uh, the XMT is already uh, sensing the voltage. It already has uh, voltage compensation built in. Uh, there are two sense wires connected directly to the output lugs, uh, 39 and 40. That's white and black, uh, as you see in the prints. Um, so what I did is added a local and remote switch so that in local mode I'm connecting that sense line directly to the output positive lug uh, on the XMT and in remote mode I'm connecting to the positive bus bar in the suitcase feeder and that's this wire here uh, so that if you have it set for like we have here 20 volts um, the XMT will output what is required for it to see 20 volts um, so if there's a 2 volt drop it should be outputting close to 22 volts and you should have your 20 volts uh, as we have it set here uh, at the tip in the suitcase feeder so uh, I got 50 foot of cable uh, running there and back so it's a 100 foot loop uh, we'll do a test in local mode which will be like factory sensing directly at the uh, output terminals and we'll do a remote uh, pass uh, sensing the voltage at the suitcase feeder uh, the yellow meter is the output of the XMT and the orange meter is the uh, voltage at the essentially the tip uh, of the welding gun uh, we'll do our test and we'll see what the results are Okay, we'll do another test at a little bit higher voltage and see if it uh, does the same exact thing.
So looking at the feedback, you can see that it is compensating me a volt, volt and a half. Um, I'm going to do another test, leave it at 28 volts. I put in another 50 foot of cable uh, just on the positive line. Uh, so you should have a 150 foot loop. And we'll see if it has to compensate any more. So as you can see, looking at the meters, there is a little bit of improvement. Um, if you want to test it uh, before you do anything, uh, all you need is just some 16 gauge wire or whatever you got laying around. Um, just a ring terminal to bolt onto the bus bar and the suitcase feeder and a quick uh, disconnect uh, terminal uh, to connect to that white sense line um, in the XMT. Um, just run it and see if it uh, improves anything. Uh, more description or more details and stuff will be in the description below, a uh, link to the forum post. Uh, eventually I will get um, parts and prints uh, posted on there, but uh, it's something easy, just a switch and a wire. Um, that's pretty much it.